what actually you meant when you meant uh, technology what the journalist should know ah, arun thank you for your question i think most news organizations we have outsourced the most important parts of the news organization <laughs> see many hands up and i think i should defer to the rest of the participants and invite everybody to ask their questions i don't really know who started putting up his or her hand first so i'll just start by who's on the left most of my screen and i see arun uh putting up his hand maybe we'll start with arun yeah um maria first of all thank you very much for the wonderful presentation i actually pinch myself to see it's a privilege to see you in pain person because uh, i mean uh, i have read several of your articles and all uh, to see a brilliant journalist brave journalist like you it's a really privilege and uh, in your when you listed out three things you said uh, technology first then journalism and community what actually you meant when you meant uh, technology what the journalist should know Ah, Arun, thank you for your question. I think most news organizations, we have outsourced the most important parts of the news organization's role, which is, think about it, every news organization uses share buttons from technology companies, right? Number one. Um, number two, there's so many implicit assumptions in the way social media platforms which we give the data we have of our people to them right because we put share buttons in um there's so many assumptions that are just wrong like since when is it okay to have 1% lies or 1% hate right or 1% poison because if you have 1% poison the body will die right so um anyway sorry i get friend let me answer your question with what we're doing in rapper I believe that you know while waiting for Facebook or YouTube to fix their algorithms to moderate their greed um we are building our own platform where uh it is fact based evidence based but the elevator pitch of Rappler in 2011 when I was raising money for this idea was we build communities of action I had always thought that technology in my country in the Philippines in Indonesia in fact I was in Singapore when I was um when I was coming up with the ideas for Rappler uh uh and I got to say I almost set it up in Singapore because it only took a dollar and one day to set up a company and in the Philippines it took like 3 months so and we were lucky but anyway so um so what we are building is the tech part of how to build communities of action right so the things that we are doing in other platforms we want to bring it back we want to create a place where people can actually can have discussions because that's that's what we want right we're civil society how can how can civil society act in any way if they don't have the facts if they're motivated by fear right which is kind of If you look at the leaders that this environment has has allowed to win democratically has harnessed it really well these leaders divide us they use us against them um I don't think that that's I think the challenge of leadership and this is the reason why I became a journalist was learning you know you you learn the most from leaders of nations and inevitably when you're interviewing leaders of states you realize that their nation takes on their weaknesses especially if you're in a country that has a high power distance index you know that's a it's a sociological way like high power distance index would be like a con- like the philippines has a high power distance index a janitor in the united states if they see their ceo at the elevator bank will go hey joe how are you a janitor in the philippines would never do that to their ceo because we have a high power distance index unless power changes the culture one of the things i hope is that social media will help make that high power distance index closer so so sorry long answer 
the quick answer is I think that there is a ton of stuff that is happening uh, that journalists need to know, starting with tools, right? If you guys haven't, and this, so there's also a, let me talk about some tools that I like a lot, like something like Pinpoint, if you are familiar with Pinpoint, um, it's a GM, Google News Initiative gives, it's now out of beta, but you can take, you know, 12,000 documents, drop it in, and then an AI will crawl through it and pull out people, places, events. That saves me, my gosh, hundreds of hours of work as, a, as an investigative journalist. We're also working with OCCRP, which has built its own platform, and we're revising parts of that, OCCRP, the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. Um, so there's a lot from the tools to the distribution. And the last part, the business model, right? The business model of news organizations are dead. I hope some of you in this room will want to lead news organizations because a news organization led by a businessman or businesswoman will be run very differently than a news organization led by a journalist who understands business, right? So yeah, lots, lots changing. But I think, you know, what you can do is help craft it. You are part of who will create the future. 